The first topic in the part one is to know about circles. We need to know the definitions and about the circumferences. Now, name of the circle over here they have given us a figure. We need to find the name of the circle, name of the radii and chord. So before we begin, let us see the circle. The center is one of the important points of a circle. The center over here is den denotes the name of the circle as well. This is how we denote circle. Now imagine if you have a circle and a dot inside, we, we can read it as circle. Now which is this letter? O. This is the circle O. Name of the circle is circle O. Now imagine this was some other uh, letter M. It would have been circle N. That's the thing. Now, radius is a line which starts from the center and goes to the ends of the circle. You know the edge of the circle over here. So this is a radius. Over here we have a radius and so on. And the diameter is again similar to a radius but it passes through the center but both the ends will touch the ends of the circle. See this line, both the ends are touching the circle and it's it also passes through the center. This is a diameter. A chord is similar to diameter, but it does not need the requirement of passing through the center. See now CD, it doesn't pass through the center, but two ends touch the circle. So this is a chord. Even this AB is a chord, but AB is also a diameter. So now let's answer these over here. Name of the circle was circle O. Name of the radii, it can be AO, OB, CD, DO, all those possible. Chords, there are two, A, B, and C, D. Similarly, you please try to solve this. This is the figure. And you can answer this. All are simple and easy. Let's just look at the last one. Name a radius not drawn as a part of diameter. What it means is, now look at this. This is a diameter, so there are two radius. So, which radius is not a part of the diameter? See, now, for example, P, C, this is not extended as a diameter right so that is the answer over here pc line pc the line above the uh, alphabets denotes it as line this over here is a circle now we will quickly go through a few of the simple problems they have given the dimensions over here now you can see ab is told to be 18 see this is ab 18 now what is ar then ab is the diameter so you can see diameter is always two times the radius okay there are two radiuses over here so now if diameter is 18 radius will be half of the diameter just divided by two you will get it that's nine and nine over here so ar is the radius so half of it similarly ry is 10 they're asking us to find ar and ab so ar is again a radius Ry is a radius, so they are equal, that is 10, but AB would be 20. So AR is 10, AB is diameter 20. Now, over here, AB and XY, are they equal? I mean, this is a congruent symbol. AB and XY, yes, they are congruent because they both are diameters. See, these are the things. Diameters or the radius of circle, they are all congruent to each other. Diameter is congruent to other diameters. The radius are congruent to other radii. Similarly, please do solve the next problem by yourself and then check the answers over here. 